Well, I'm not an expert, um, but I, I, I think one of the things about TV is obviously understanding the, the stature of, of the, the medium and <clears throat> to sort of swamp it with something that is clearly meant for the widescreen. I think one, I, I realized very early on that one has to work out where the <clears throat> boundaries are in that respect. But I don't think that that's to say that the two arts are completely different and that one, <clears throat> it's not like I have a template for TV and a template for film. I think m much of the same rules as I have them in my own mind uh, uh, apply. But I think it's, um, you know, a, a note could come back quite, quite frequently on the TV, which is that it's a great cue, but you're, you're, you know, you're stealing the show. So, I, I mean, one never wants to steal the show. I mean, we're just composers after all. But um, I think, you know, the appropriateness of, of the stature of TV is, is something that one has to think about. But at the same time, I don't think one ever wants to sound TV. I can remember actually a year ago today at the BMI dinner, I had to go back to the studio straight after the, the dinner and uh, we had a meeting with Ben Affleck the following morning. I think Ben is a great director, he's proved himself to be a great director and he's got a, a very specific um, <clears throat> understanding of music, he, he does understand music, um, he would frequently pick up a guitar when we were in the room with him and play anything that we just played to him, not, not, not note perfect but, but not bad either. Um, <clears throat> I think you know his, his aesthetic was that that he doesn't want film music to sound like film music. So a bit like just saying he don't want TV music doesn't need to sound TV. He was a director who didn't want us to overscore it. Didn't want it, you know, when music came in for the first time, he didn't necessarily even want it to sound like score. Um, at the same time, though, the film, the complexity of the film was that you had these sort of hardened Boston bank robbers, but also we saw an emotional side to especially one of the characters. So it was trying to find a way of, of giving the energy and the, the dark side to these people, but also finding this sense of hope and, and romance within the two characters. Um, not, not necessarily the easiest thing to, to combine, but that, that certainly was the challenge.